Hello guys, Andrew here, and welcome back to another video. I have not uploaded in a while. Yeah, I know that. The last video I made was an unboxing of Little Nestor, but I'm back. Um, it's 2022 now, guys, and, um, uh, sneak peeks for not spirit, but, um, Morris costumes, I guess you can call them sneak peeks, whatever. We're gonna start seeing their, um, animatronics or the 2022 lineup very, very shortly with the Halloween and Party Expo, like, coming in less than a week. Um, I'm super excited about that. I can't wait to see their lineup for this year, and I know we're still waiting on, like, some of their animatronics from 2021 to still, like, become available or something, whatever. But we're here to talk about spirit, not Morse costumes. I'll touch on Morse costumes and do, like, reactions and sneak peeks to them as well, because I know I don't usually do that. I know I did do it originally, but I stopped doing it. I might start doing it again, just so I can provide you guys with content while Spirit Halloween is not yet doing their stuff. But... Taking a look at this, we got a new animatronic, um, now before, like, I get into all the information, I'm just throwing it out there that a lot of people are saying that, um, this animatronic, um, was from 2021, but as you guys know with all the shipping delays that happened last year, they are still getting, um, new stock in, and I guess this guy was one of them, um, people are saying he's, um, Spirit Halloween's first sneak peek of 2022, and others are saying he was just, um, a late shipment last year, or they never got him in stock, so now they're releasing him. He came very, very late. You guys can go, um, with whatever you want. I'm not really going to say, yeah, he's definitely for sure a new for 2022, um, sneak peek. Um, sneak peeks are starting earlier this year. I'm not going to say that, um, and I'm not, and I'm not going to say he's a 2021 animatronic that just got delayed. So I'm just not going to say any of that. I'm just going to stick with, um, a 2022 sneak peek because that's when we're seeing him. Now, um, this is the five foot six inch Dr. Illum. Now, this guy off the bat, definitely really cool in my opinion. There are some things that, um, I wish were different about him, but I'll get to that, like, later. He goes for, um, $219.99 or $220, and he is an online only, as you guys can expect, because we're only in, um, January, and if this thing was, um, for 2021, which, um, apparently it is, I don't know, um, he would have been, um, online only because it was already later, so this guy... Just looking at the picture, yeah, I have seen videos on him. I saw him, like, early in the morning when I woke up. I was, I checked Spirit's website, and I saw him. I was like, oh, dang, really, that? Because, like, he came unexpectedly. It was really cool to see that, final, that Spirit finally put something new on the website, other than Soothsayer. Um, she was the last prop before this guy to be added on the website, and she was only released, like, a couple days ago. But that is not a Spirit prop. Um, that was a Morse costumes prop, just... Morris costumes prop just being sold by Spirit, but this is, um, this guy's is a Spirit exclusive. Taking a, a look at some pictures here, now, from what I've heard, no one has really touched on this yet, but this is just something, in my opinion, that I have to share that I've really been thinking about ever since I saw this guy's, um, stock images. Now, Dr. Illum really looks like, um, at first glance, he looks like a cheap prop, like one of those, um, Sunstar, uh, Doctor animatronics. That's what he kind of looks like, or like one of them from Big Lots, whatever. But, um, the more you look into this guy, you'll, you'll, um, see that he's actually very, very high quality, and he is really worth it, in my opinion, for the price that he's at. Now, $220, that is a bit pricey just for like um uh like he could have more detail on his outfit and because like in the video you guys will see we can't really get a good look um of his eyes and his mouth gloaming you guys will see when we watch the video over here it shows um his um eyes and his mouth lighting up but we can't really see that in the video. We can only see it for, like, the first three seconds. I'm not sure if, um, here's what I think. I hope this isn't the case, but 
I think that th he only lights up at the beginning of his animation. It makes maybe like a little sound where um, it's like he just drank it and that green um, LEDs turn on at the beginning and then he just goes around doing his animation for the rest while they're still off. Um, that's just what I think, but it could really be that this prop was broken during filming and it just so happened to have broke right when they started filming him. I really don't know. We're just going to have to wait until someone buys this guy in person for us to really get a good understanding of him. But as of right now, um, I really don't know what there is to say about this guy. I wish his outfit had a bit more detail, but that's really um, the little things about him. As you guys can see on this back outfit right here, he really has no detail at all. It's just a regular um, white lab coat, and he just has regular like pants on. Nothing too special about that, but to mention about his face, his face and hands have absolutely realistic um, detail on it, and I really, really, really love that about him. Um, the whole, like, uh, his hands and his hair and his face and everything really looks realistic about him. I really, really love it. Um, the only problem I have, and you guys will see it in the video when we get a side view of him, is his posture. Um, his legs are just too, like, far apart. One is all the way in the front and the other is all the way at the back. But, um, I think it has to do with this guy's animation, um, because, like, you, he does, like, thrash around back and forth, so I guess they have to put it, put his legs like that so that, so that he can have a good balance, which is completely understandable. I love, if you guys know me, I don't really say this a lot, but I love, absolutely love green LED on animatronics. Because it just looks very creepy, very scary, very cool in my opinion, and I just love it. Um, just like Little Nestor, his eyes light up green and I just absolutely love it, and I love how this guy um, has green LEDs. And it's not just his face that lights up, it's his body. If you look right here, you can see like green and it and his body actually glows. We're just going to have to wait for the first person to like um get this so we can get a closer look at him so we can actually get a pretty good idea of what's going on. Um from the pictures you can see that his beaker also lights up or whatever he's holding um and it's and I think that's a really really cool effect. You can't really see it in the video that much because like it's light in like the studio where they were filming at. Um, the set, um, I'll show you guys in like a second, the set where they filmed it is um, the same that we have that we saw. It's the same house from 2020 where the props were filmed. They just redid it. They made it a bit different. And it's the same house that some of the props this year were also filmed, like Mr. Dark, all the Morris costumes props, and um, some others. This guy, I just really, really like him. I know I have not seen one person yet that says they haven't liked him, um, but yeah, the only thing that I would complain about is like the way he's positioned, but that's that's not that big of a deal because everything else about him really makes up for it. Now, just one more thing that I have to talk about is his clothing because I'm not sure, I'm not really sure I talked about that that much. I wish his clothing had a bit more detail. It's just a um, a white lab coat with um, a bunch of gray spots on it, that's really it, and the pants are just black, um, or gray, and his shoes, I really like his shoes, um, because they look very, very real, very, very realistic. Now, um, this prop, overall, its concept, I really, really like, kind of confusing though, um, but that really doesn't matter, I really like the concept of this prop, we haven't seen anything like it before, um, as of what I can think of right now, and um, we haven't gotten a doctor prop in a really, really long time. We did get Miss Mercy in 2020, but um, she was really more of a nurse, and uh, we haven't seen anything traditional, a traditional doctor like, like um, this one right here. I keep forgetting his name, so I'm, try I'm gonna try not to say it a lot. But, um, his name is also really interesting because, um, 
It's his name is Doctor Illum, and I really think it stands for Doctor Illuminate because um of the green of the glowing green that he has. Don't don't like question or anything, but that's just what I think it is. That is that isn't official information that I got from anyone. That is just um what I think it is. And since illuminate is a really big word, they try to shrink it. But I really I at first I thought his name was a bit confusing, but. Uh, oh well, it is what it is, and I actually really, really like this prop. I love, I love the how it reminds you of an older Spirit Halloween prop. Anyway, so now let's take a look at the, um, his demo video, and you guys will see what I'm talking about at the beginning. So guys, as you saw there in the first three seconds of the video, right there you can see um um his whole face lighting up and it's really 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 cool. It looks awesome, but it only lights up to like about right there and then it just stops after that. I don't know why. I wish I would love it if it stayed on, but I guess it is what it is. Um I love his movement too. His movement is amazing. Um I also showed um my friends this animatronic and one of them said it looks it looks like um a drunk dad and uh, I don't really know how to feel about that. Don't take offense to that spirit if you hear this. I love this prop. My f I don't know why my friends made that comment. It it was just um interesting to them and I see what they are talking about, but personally I really love this prop. Now, for the last thing I'm going to be talking about is if I'm going to get this prop. Um it's I'm pretty sure you've heard this from everyone. It is I don't know. The same answer I'm pretty sure has been given to from everyone. I don't know. It is way too early. It's literally January. I haven't even got to see Morris costumes line up for this year. So I can't really start straight off buying animatronics in um January, but he he is um a, at a fair price. Um I just as of right now I really don't know if I'm going to get him. I really do like him though and I might get him. Um, because just because we haven't seen anything like this in a while, but as of right now, I'm really not sure. But that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.